Hello and welcome to F&D Games. This is another episode of What the Flash Game Is. Today I'm showing David... A and die. Yes? Yes, you are, Finbar. You are. I was wondering if you were alive then. Die. Okay, new game. Or we'll earn to die. Oh, cut. oh yeah, I forgot there's a cutscene. But we won't be able to hear anything because... Should we, should we voice act? I'm a hard man looking at the desert. Through some dirty binoculars. Looking at all those cacti. My chance to Hello. escape. Zomble. Good heavens. And look, he's, he needs a car. A I shit heap of a car. You need a car. Never work. Do you get to pick the car? Go for the big red one. Um, you can't have that to start off with, so I'm going to buy this. And I have no dollars, so I can't upgrade anything. Basically, it's an upgrade game, that looks so... terrible. What? That looks terrible. Yeah, it's a shit heap for a car. There's my fuel gauge, it's tiny. And uh -uh. you have to hit zombies. Uh, and I'm already out of fuel, pretty much. You, in the first round, you get nowhere. Oh, is it like Learn to Fly? Yes, but with oh. zombies. Right, yeah. Um, the first thing I found the best was up to grade is the wheel size. Because then you can get over the rocks more easily. And then you're the expert. Yep, because I've played this before and completed it. Cause oh, look at that. Strike. Fifty dollars. Uh, fuel tanks are pretty goddamn useful as well. Looks, I've got. See, just by having bigger wheels, I got uh, further. Oh, I've just noticed. Earn to die is like learn to fly. Maybe they did that on purpose. Maybe, maybe. I don't know if they're made by the same person. Or not. It wouldn't surprise me because these kind of games are just. So addictive. Come on. And you can sort of control it to an extent. Later on you get big horrible bastards who you have to sort of decapitate really. Otherwise they just slow you right down. I had more fuel then and it seemed to do fuck all. So Pimbo, what does the guns do? Can you fire them? Um it or, oh I can't afford one. Basically it auto kills old. it auto kills the first couple of zombies. You'll see it. I'll get I'll get the upgrade. As soon as I can afford one. Oh, I think it's be better. It's probably better off getting bigger tyres first and more fuel lola. Um Right of interest, every time the car stops, is this guy not just getting eaten? Yeah, that's what I was kind of considering. I mean, is he not just getting mullered? He needs to learn some clutch control as well, he keeps falling down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know what that means I can't drive. But you've only had four hours of lessons and you already Yeah, but I can pass. Drive. <laughs> yeah, it's all easy. Uh, what was that about you? You uh, sort of stalling it, driving up the curb, and nearly killing an old woman? Yeah, there was a squirrel, and I tried <laughs> to avoid the squirrel, but ended up on the pavement, and then stalled, and then was half in the roundabout and half in the pavement outside the school. And yeah, never you, mind. And you think you'll no, pass no, straight away? Uh, yeah, because that won't happen on the test. <laughs> What if there's zombies? What would you do if there were zombies in the test? Well, if there was zombies in the test, Finbar, I would think that my sort of priorities would change from passing a driving test to staying alive. Yeah, yeah, probably. I, I didn't really think that through very well, did I? No, you didn't. <laughs> I wonder, what would you do if there was a zombie apocalypse? Apocalypse, it's... What? I would go to my shed... I would take out the weaponiest thing we have, which <laughs> I believe is a spade. I would then realise the spade is useless, <laughs> go to the kitchen drawer and take out some bread knives. And then I would go round yours, get your axes. Obviously you could have an axe as well if you're still alive. <laughs> if you are a zombie, I wouldn't think twice about killing you. I'd just do it because you're a zombie. Yeah, same. I mean, the problem you kill me if I was a zombie. Yeah, of course I would. <laughs> Good, because I'll kill you. What's that big thing you've got? I, I bought a massive propeller so I can basically fly. Well, I can't Ow. fly, but you can. It gets you wow. a lot further. Um, yeah, I mean, the problem with being in the UK when there's a zombie apocalypse is nobody has guns. At all. I know where there's guns. Well, yeah, army cadets, but. Yeah. That's a good point, actually. We could just run up to the army cadet hut, you know, steal a couple of 
Except for the heavily, heavily, heavily alarmed armory, which would go oh, out yeah. and attract the horde. And then we'll find out that the only ammunition we keep there is point two two. Is that is that like uh? Oh, that that oh god, this is sh- what the right. F- what happened there? I don't even know what happened there. Day nine complete. That's what happened. Uh, there. You got all these upgrades. I, why haven't I got this yet? I'm not sure. Forward sport. This makes. Kimba, get gun. Get gun. Can't. I need two thousand pounds. So once once I do, it, I'll show you what it does. Brum, brum. See, so much better when you get uh, when you get the big truck. It is just so fun to play. Absolutely. It does take a little while to get there. Oh, I see. Ugh. You're trying to get to the helicopter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the distance in the bottom right is how far I've got right. to go. Right. Would it not be easier for the helicopter to come to you? Yeah, no. Well, I don't think there's anyone in it. I think they've all been eaten. Ah. Probably. I mean, the story... Well, it's probably true that you're running over now, isn't it? I mean, firstly, why am I in the desert with a lot of scrap cars where I can buy machine guns, jet propellers? Why would I even Southern buy them? America. I just fit them. Southern America, that's what it is. I know, but surely, if there's no... Who am I buying these parts from? There's a whole other storyline here. Right, well, I think we're looking into it too much. Yeah. I like the background graphics, though. Well, I'm pretty sure yeah, it's quite nice. I'm pretty sure it's just on a loop. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is, I can tell. I'm counting it, I'm counting it. Ugh. The jet propeller thing's good, because you can just go like that. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, there's the loop. Yeah. Boom. I wonder what I'd do in a zombie apocalypse ellipse. You come round mine with all your axes and give me... I do, have, I do have a fair few, like, pitchforks and stuff in my gun. Oh, I can get a gun now to show it does. So, we'll buy loads of ammo for it. Basically, it auto-kills headshot zombies. Um, What's the point of that when you can just run into them? Well, it kills them before you get to them, because if you run into them, it slows, them, slows you down. So look, oh, right. they just sort of collapse. Oh, wow. So that's pretty effective. But you only have a certain amount of bullets, so now it'll be, like, gone. So now I have to plough into them like this. See, see how much that slowed me down? As if I just mowed them down with a gun. Oh. I love the slow-mo bits, but they, you don't get them that often. Oh, this is brilliant. That gun was actually a good purchase. And no. He can't drive up a hill because he's bad. So, we'll max out ammo on that. And I've got no money left. Soon I should be at... How much is a new car? 25 grand. That's, like, not even hard to get. We'll try and get that. What do you mean that's not even hard to get? You've only got 300. Yeah, but I got, like, a shit ton of money last time. You get bonuses for getting cool strikes on the head and stuff. Oh, right. Yeah, um... I don't know what my weapon of choice would be. I th- mm. I mean, what, if you had anything in the whole of... No, no, like just anything I could practically get my hands on in the UK, which is not a lot, really. Well, what have we I got think in? a meat cleaver or a katana I'd like to have. Wouldn't you? I would like to have a big gun. Yeah, well, yeah but you can't practically get one of those, really. And could you practically get a katana? Joe McNess has a katana. Yes, but surely he'd like to use the katana. Mm, he'd probably be in his room playing games, actually. He probably wouldn't even realise what's going oh, on. True, true, true. Um, so we could just sort of sneak in, take it. He's got some nunchucks as well. Does he? Yeah. I mean, Well, in my house I have a kitchen knife. Well, multiple kitchen knives. I only have one, it's rubbish. I have spade... This weird thing that's like a spade, but not a spade, but is sort of like a spade. But look, it looks quite cool. Um, a trowel, you mean? No, it's, it's like sort a of like spade. a trowel. No, it's, it's, no, it's weird. It's it's like a trowel. What the hell? Oh, yeah, there's, there's barricades and stuff. For some unknown reason, there's piled up boxes in the middle of a desert. Cool. But yeah, it's, it's so look, I've got 1,500 quid, so I can get that card like I'm going to go on paint and draw you what it looks like compared to a face. And send it to me through Skype. Yeah. Alright, okay. I'm not sure what it's called. Hang on. I hate the new paint layout. <gasps> yeah, it's pretty bad. 
You can do some crazy stuff with paint now, surprise. If you know what you're doing. I don't I've, know. I've got, do. I don't think I'd use a knife if I was trying to kill some balls because it'd be ineffective. You'd get bitten pretty goddamn easily. Not if you were, like, the best knife person in the world. If you're surrounded by, like, 50 zombies, a knife is not going to help. I uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, look, I can buy a new car now, so that's what I'm going to do. Get bigger wheel. Oh, God, stuff on here is expensive. Okay, this picture's not coming out too, too well. But you might get the yeah, idea. You haven't seen that I've upgraded my car, but yeah, okay. I haven't. Is it the red one? Oh, slow mo. No, I haven't got that far yet. But I've got the pickup truck. And it's. Oh, I'm getting shitloads of money now. I'm just spewing them apart. Good, good, good for you. Bang, bang, bang. This game is. I love upgrade games. You can't not like upgrade games. They're a fun way to kill time. Granted, the storyline is absolutely. It doesn't make any sense. The storyline for Learn to Fly is amazing. I, I love. That. Especially the second one. Yeah. I think we need to do that. Oh, epic strike. Oh, and I got to the same place. Oh, got, oh, nearly, nearly. Oh, nearly there. I got further than ever, though. Because I got, I got so the much money. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, I'm going to link to you this thing. This, this. I probably won't be able to look at it because it will ruin all the camera stuff, but I'll look at it in a minute. No, it won't because you just take it up. What? <laughs> Brum, brum. Oh god, I still haven't decided on that. Well, in that case, I'll explain it to you. It's, it's, imagine a spade, like yep. a normal spade. Take the spade part of the spade and sort of make it spiky. <laughs> what? A make it fork? Make, make, no, like make it spiky on the sides, but still spadey at the front. A spade knife? Oh, okay, right, you know a spade is sort of like a square shape. They can be pointed as well, Debbie, you do realise that. Yeah, but imagine it's like a spade. Uh, right, right. How would you describe the spade part of a spade? What can you? F I don't know. If you were looking, right? If you were looking at the spade, um, um, like right. Okay, say you laid the spade down on the ground, then stood over the spade and looked at it. The actual spade part of the spade would look squarish, wouldn't it? Yeah, normally. But you well, could get pointed ones as well. Yeah, yes, fine. But on this one, it's sort of like. A semicircle. What? Is it a hoe? Oh god, it might be. Is that what you're talking about? I'm not sure I'm going to search hoe. <laughs> I don't expect anything wrong here. <laughs> Urban dictionary? Oh dear. <laughs> oh no, 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 it's not a hoe. Actually, it is a bit like a hoe. Ah, here it is. It is a... Oh god. Um, well, it's it's a bit like a hoe. Hang on. Oh, ah, oh, yes, it's a E605L hoe. Yes, okay, it's a hoe. Let's just, yes, I'll use my hoe. Sorry, I, I had got distracted. I'd use my hoe to kill zombies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, well, I don't even know what I'd use. I mean, hmm... All I know is if I got bitten out of spite before I turned, I would infect as many people as possible that I don't like. You're a dickhead. <laughs> so I would, I would go around like wiping my bloody cut in people's faces, <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then I just sort of, oh, I couldn't shoot myself in the head though. And how? What's the best way of decapitating yourself with? Um, right, this is the best way of decapitating yourself. Okay, get a really thin bit of string. Oh yeah, this is a brilliant idea. It, and then. Glue both your hands to the side of your head, and then obviously tie the string on first, and then jump off a bridge, a big bridge. And then what will happen is the string will decapitate you, but obviously your head will stay stuck to your hands. So when the people find you, it will look like you've pulled your own head off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's brilliant. That is. <laughs> if, we, if society reverted back to like Roman times, I think I'd do that to a dead person. <laughs> just to see if it actually work. Obviously, it's probably be frowned about in today's. Yeah, I don't think people would look too kindly upon. Doing no. That. Well, what what do the different guns do? This one fires faster, has more bullets. See, so look at this. I'm flying now. This is brilliant. 
Good heavens. So you have more, more you guns and more, like, propellers. Cause you uh, yeah, I can get one in a minute. Oh, Finbar, it's so quick. I know, it's brilliant. When you're in the truck, it's just crazy. It's... Ugh. Finbar, so you... you've only got 2,300 feet left to safety. It's still quite a long way. I mean, yeah. So you would hoe the zombies to death. Well, out of everything in my house, I could either hoe the zombies, bread knife the zombies, spade the zombies, or... I'm trying to think, well, I could lawn mow the zombies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that'd be very effective. It's not like... I could... Um, what else do I have? What We've probably got some toxic chemicals in the shed. I could... Toxic that chemicals... Work. You, have to, you have to stop the brain. Destroy the brain. Oh, don't you? Um... Just play Justin Bieber at him. <laughs> no, I think that'd work. I mean, you have to be pretty brain dead to enjoy that, so. Exactly. That's plan. Just constantly play Justin Bieber 24 7. Wear ear defenders. Everything around you would die. It'd be like. Have you ever seen that film called Mars Attacks? <laughs> no. Right, well, the well, basic story of the film is Martians Attack. Well. Oh. As you probably guessed, it's about Martians attacking Earth. Yeah. And the name Mars attacks. But in the end, they discover the way to kill all the Martians is to what? play this, like, yokelin music or whatever it is. What the hell? And, and it makes all the Martians' heads explode. Are you serious? Yeah. Like yodeling? Yeah. No, I don't know, but it's like... I... It makes all the Martians' heads explode. I don't know what you mean. Like the things that can cause um, landslides and stuff by yodeling. No, 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 not that. Like, uh, you know, like, Western films. Yeah, I know, I, know, I know what yodeling is. Yeah, like a yodeling song, and it makes them all explode. That, I don't think that'd work, sadly. Okay, well, have you got a better idea? I, don't know, I still haven't decided my weapon of choice. Uh, you need to make a decision, Finbar. Oh. There's zombie knocking on the door. I don't know. I might just... Well, it's hard to decide what I'd do. Well, Finbar, what do you own at your house that you could possibly kill a zombie um, with? Pickaxe, bicycles, punching bag, um, a big torch, um, guitar, uh, shovels, um... No, well, a few crappy knives. Right, out of that, I would suggest the pickaxe. Yeah, but it's really heavy to swing. So be... Oh, dear. You'd have to... You need something light but powerful. Like a bow and arrow. No. <laughs> like a gun. <laughs> we already discussed that guns are sort of out of the question, really. What about that black market website you found that can deliver guns to oh, your Oh, yeah, door? that was weird. I'm off. The door's knocking. Okay, hang on. I'll just... Oh, finally! Yeah, I've been stuck in this bit for ages. And David's going to be molested by the postman. <laughs> oh. oh, this one's good, actually. I've done well here. Destroying shit. Oh, owning. Yes! Finally. Oh, God. There we go. That was pretty good and good. It was a package. The I postman I, delivered a package. I did just say that uh, Dave is just being molested by the postman. No, no, no. He didn't do anything like that. <laughs> by the look of him, he might have done, but... Right, how much is the epic truck? 200 grand. Right, we're going for that and then we'll end it. No, that's going to take you like an hour. Oh, fine. We'll end it soon. Then. that. Should we end it on, right, where would we camp out in a zombie apocalypse? At the, at the, um... The Winston. <laughs> the Winston? Yeah, from, uh, Shaun of the Dead. Is the it, that's where it's called the Winston. What, the pub? Or the Winchester. Yeah, oh, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I personally would have camped out in those, uh, that barricade, but you've just destroyed it now, so... Oh. I can't. You, preferably, you want to be upstairs somewhere. Why? 
That's just a stupid idea, because then if the zombies go up the stairs, you're trapped. Well, no, but, like, have a choke point, so if they get in, you can just sort of... Like, a staircase, I imagine, would be pretty... Okay, scary. and then and then what happens when you get tired or run out of ammunition or stuff? Fill the staircase up with sofas. Or well, beds. I think the best thing to do... I did... I, I, I have seriously thought about this. Go to the beach, get a boat, get supplies on the boat, and live at sea, and then every so often when you need to get stuff, you go back to land and go around the zombies, kill a few, get the stuff, and then go back to the boat and then do more living at sea, and then, yeah. Zombies can never seem to swim, can they? So that might be quite good. They always in zombie no. programs, is like, um, they always go to an island or try and get on a boat or something, don't they? Yeah. And like half of them die trying to get there. And they always seem to build an armoured truck. Phelps could swim. Or <laughs> break around. A zombie Michael Phelps. Yeah. If he couldn't swim. <laughs> would you? How would you rate this game then, David? Do you think it's, do you think it's pretty good? Yeah, I, I like the game. Yeah, it's a good game. It's all right. Ugh. I'm doing pretty well, actually. Uh, the music is pretty hardcore, but it just... My computer's been an absolute bitch and won't record it. Uh, once I figure out how to, I will. It seems it's it, it's certainly a game for <sighs> your lessons for a bit of fun. That's what flash games are. Well, no, some of flash games are fucking crazy. I'm gonna have to find some crazy ones. Um, oh, that was shit actually. So I just end it there. Day twenty-five, nice rounded number, kind of. Yeah. Twenty-five yeah. days. We got we got fairly close. Thirteen hundred foot. If that oh, was yeah, like yeah, three three seven, really, that'd be pretty good. Really, really close. I mean, you could jog that, fine. You could, but you could also jog the whole way as well. You could jog the extra 1,700 foot as well. It'd take you about five minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not but as far, is it? How many foots are in a metre? Uh, oh, God, I, don't, I have no idea. I, I can't do imperial to metric conversions. Oh, oh, can't you? Oh, you absolute idiot. <laughs> oh, my God, you can't do that. No. Um... Should we end that? Let's bring up a big recorder thingy. Sorry. <laughs> Just end. <laughs> okay. Please subscribe. We'll be doing loads more videos. Uh, I'll be playing some stuff on my own. David's planning to play Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Oh, no, I'm not. Not, not Philosopher's Stone. Chamber of Secrets. And we're both going to comment I over... A mouse. Yeah, uh, after he's got a mouse. Uh, we need to... Blah, blah, blah. We'll both comment over that. I'm going to be probably playing that football game from scratch with no lag, with David trying to assist me. Should be quite interesting. And I'm just going to be playing some games and moaning at how awkward they are or whatever. Uh, once again, please subscribe and like this video. It's a, it's a, foot, it. uh, a foot's 30 inches, isn't it? We just tried to end the video and you just ruined it. A, foot, a foot's... Um, is it 30 or is it 12? Oh, oh no, there's a star here, so it's 12. What? <laughs> So a foot is 30 centimetres, so 100, meter, uh, 100 centimetres is 3 foot and a bit. Okay. Um, so, um, that's just ruined three meters. 3 metres would be... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, 10. 3 metres is 10 feet. <laughs> So, what was this? 3,000 metres, so that... Uh, sorry, 3,000 feet, so that's... Um, oh, my God. Are you actually working this out? I'm, gonna, I'm getting a calculator. So, <laughs> let's work it out. If uh, How would you work that out? Oh, I don't if know. It, right, just stop. We didn't need to do um, maths. Please ignore David. Um, subscribe. Um,